Welcome back to the Villain's Guide to Wasteland 3. Today I'm revisiting the Bilge chapter from the guide. I wanted to highlight one of my favorites, as well as fill a request for an assault rifle build. If this video helped you out, please throw a like at it. Don't forget to subscribe for future content. But for now, enjoy the video. The Mercenary is a build that specializes in automatic weapons, sneaky shit, and explosives. He brings the biggest amount of guns and damage you can provide to a fight. And sometimes, he shuts down the entire fight before it even begins. By using sneaky shit and explosives as a sneak attack, what's left after is usually just corpses. Couple this with an assault rifle that can hit accurately and deadly from cover. What you have left is a grenade and rocket toss and artillery, backed up by precision shots and a hailstorm of bullets. For this build, we want to prioritize crit damage as much as possible because this will make our initial attack with a rocket that will automatically crit do as much damage as possible. Our second priority will be range damage and hit chance to help with our assault rifle attacks and precision strikes. For armor, you want anything with as much armor as you can find. Most of the stats on them won't help us that much. No need for combat speed since we won't be moving that much, so it ends up being unnecessary. Evasion isn't bad, but you'll be in the back line most of the time and won't be getting shot at that often. For your weapons, it's really not that complicated. Grab the hardest hitting AR you can find coupled with the hardest hitting rocket you can find. For the mods, your gun should focus on crit damage first of course, but then you should aim for range. This will allow you to hit hard from a mile away, and since we're not moving, we can chuck rockets as we see fit. For a head start on a good assault rifle, you can acquire the SOCOM rifle from the second locked bunker door inside your base. You do have to help La Perla, who is a slaver, capture a runaway. You can click the top right for a guide on that video. Let's take a look at the background and quirk. For the background, we're gonna go explode a maniac. Goat killer is a good choice, but the flat 50% damage increase scales better into the late game. For the quirk, we had the usuals to pick from. Sadomasochist, serial killer, and two pump chump. Serial killer is unnecessary because of the trigger happy perk we'll grab. Two pump chump looks appealing, but the loss of hit chance hurts if the fight gets extended. So we'll go with sadomasochist since we shouldn't be getting damaged anyways. Now the attributes, we want 8 and coordination to be able to shoot a rocket and follow up with a shot from our rifle. But our priority is of course intelligence. It all helps, but the increased crit damage is our focus. Next we'll grab awareness for an increased range damage and hit chance, and we'll round it out with a couple inch strength to be able to wear some medium armor. Feel free to spread any more points around here for extra armor and health, or I would recommend pumping them into luck just for the ridiculousness that comes with it. Our skills will consist of automatic weapons, sneaky shit, and explosives. I would focus on getting explosives to 7 as soon as you can for the deadly sneak attack, then focus on sneaky shit 210 for the 200% damage increase from the sneak attack, and lastly automatic weapons to round out the build. Getting trigger happy though really makes the assault rifle shine, so go in any order that you wish. Finally, for the perks we'll grab hardened for a little armor, healthy for the 35 extra health, Gopher Hunter, which forces our enemies to gain 25% less cover when we attack them. Double Tap, which makes every second shot on a target to be a crit. This couples nice with our high crit damage multiplier. And Trigger Happy, which gives you 3 extra AP after you kill a target. This will allow you to shoot up to 4 or 5 times in a round, which is wild. Then we'll add High Impact, which makes our explosives always crit. Again, we don't need crit chance in this build, we need crit damage. Blast Radius to increase the size of your explosives by 40%, and finally, Lights Out to increase your sneak attack damage by 200%. When you pair this, High Impact and Trigger Happy, you can shoot a rocket while sneak attacking and murder an entire pod, then follow up with an assault rifle shot to kill another straggler to get your AP back to follow up with yet another shot. The damage output on this class is just through the roof, and can be made even better if you add some points into Weird Science. This will open you up to a bigger variety of rocket types and boost the energy damage from weapons you find in the map. Thank you for hanging out until the end of the video. If you enjoyed this guide, please like, subscribe, and share. The support I'm receiving for a brand new channel is kind of overwhelming. But again, thank you all for being along for the ride. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll be covering a unique take on the sniper build. And as always, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch.